All right, hello. What's up, everyone? Sea Biscuit returning. You may notice um, there's actually a new logo on the channel. Very fresh. Anyways, everybody's been waiting for this. Peeling the skin off a double A battery part two. Now, in part one, we just peeled the skin off, I think, a Duracell. I'm pretty sure it's a Duracell. Anyway, today we're going to be comparing the skin of all these different batteries. So, get ready, because there's a lot. But we got the um, heavy-duty Chinese batteries. This is the first one. Rayovac. Don't use it too much. Energizer. Radio Shack. And of course, Magzel. Um, so let's get into it. First, um, we'll start off with the Energizer. It's, it feels pretty similar to the, um, the, uh, Duracell right here. But, anyways, let's crack on. I'll speed this up. Okay, so, I have, um, peeled all the batteries. Well, it's not just Duracell one, but I peeled them in the first video, so you can always go back and look at that. I'm not going to peel it, because I, it was really annoying to peel the first time. See, it's like, it's kind of different from all the rest. All the rest are pretty similar, I learned, but, look at that. It's like, it stays on there, kind of. It's like two layers, but two weird layers. Definitely a weird battery. Anyways, so first let's talk about the Chinese. Or, yeah, the Chinese. Um, uh, so, it actually doesn't have... Um, skin to it, so it's just a double A battery. You just print the writing on with some metal, I guess. I don't know, um, plastic probably. You can see if I pull out my knife. So you can scrape it, but that's this is just an extra layer. Probably to prevent rust or something. But it's really not a skin. So, I mean, obviously Chinese, pretty cheap. It says heavy duty. Um, that might be, this might be the skin. Potentially, this metal layer. But I don't think so. I don't know why it says heavy duty. It doesn't even have skin. I mean, the metal is just really strong. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this one. It's not a good battery. Okay, China. Next, we have the Energizer. And you can see this one's pretty dirty. It left a, there's a big spot right there. I'm not sure if it's from the chemicals or... Well, I think this battery may have been used, but that's what it looks like. It's kind of like this plasticky, sticky thing. It's pretty easy to pull. 
on one piece. That looks like that V battery, whatever it is. We can get like this. I don't know. Uh, not my favorite battery. Um, you could do clay bish stuff with this. I think it's pretty strong. I'd say it's pretty good. Okay, so definitely that one first in terms of like overall greatness. Next, I think we did the um, the Rayovac, right? Yes. Now the Rayovac looks pretty dirty. Um, only in a few spots, really. This one actually, it's gotta be my favorite. I think it's like my favorite for the feel. Felt nice pulling this apart. Felt kind of like more plasticky than this. Almost the same thing, but a little more rubbery. All right, it's kind of hard to describe. It was a little bit harder to peel, but you know, once you get it, you can just peel it easy. Uh, the battery looks much better than Duro, so afterwards though, it doesn't have um, one interesting thing. Doesn't have those three dots. I don't know what they're for. Anyways, on to the Radio Shack. Now, the Radio Shack. Oh, wait. No, my bad. Pretty sure the shiny one came from the rail back. See, it left it very clean. So, I was very happy with that. I mean, it looks so shiny. It's, it's unbelievable. Anyways. Here's the Radio Shack one. See, a little dirty. <coughs> well, the Radio Shack was really easy to pull. It feels very strong, almost like the Energizer one. It kind of feels the same, like the same exact thing as the Energizer one, except I didn't, these things didn't really taper up at the top here to go around the, the circle. They're just kind of straight, which I liked about it. So, I'd put that one above the Energizer. Um, then the last one, unless you count the Duracell, but I mean, this one was weird. It was the uh, Maxwell Alkaline. Got a little bit of Chinese going on there, too. I don't know if you can see it. Um, this one was kind of weird. It had like two layers to it. First, had this like little like plastic baggy almost layer, and then this like clear plastic behind it. I guess this was like a stick stuck to the battery, and then this was just a film on it for a logo. Um, I mean, at least it was better than the the Chinese one, the heavy duty. But I had this weird green thing. I'm not gonna take it off. It kind of, I guess it kind of um, just a security in case the chemicals come out. Which I guess is a nice feature. It's gonna be more protective. Um, like I don't know what you're gonna do to make the chemicals come out, but I mean, I guess it'll be more protective. But I just didn't. I didn't feel like a nice strong. Uh, battery skin to me, so I don't really know. I, don't, I didn't really like this one. So, but it was better than the. You know what? I think I like the idea of not having a thing better than this crap. You know, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that was better than the Chinese one. Even though that, that one was kind of Chinese. But. And then Duracell, if you count it, I mean, it's terrible. I hate it. It was it was horrible. So I uh, I mean it was, it was just a terrible battery pill. But obviously, I mean it looks really cool. It's just a uh, classic um, bronze and black. Um. So if you're looking for some battery skins, um, I recommend the Ravo back. It's a little hard to peel, but if you want real, like, hard strength, get an energizer. But if you're looking for a nice, crisp, shiny AA battery, 
get the radio back or just make your own. I don't know. Start a battery business. Anyway, that's uh, part three. So, or that's part two. Um, now, part three, I was thinking about doing something where I could find things to do with these. But if you have any other suggestions, please leave a comment below and tell me your favorite AA battery or battery skin. Which one you like the most? Think I rated them wrong? Tell me if you uh, try this at home. Love to know. Alright. Also, watch out for video on a critique of Surviv.